an entire generation lost. People forget that when there's a war for 10 years, kids don't go to school. You don't develop. You drop depleted uranium coated rounds that have a half-life of X amount of billion years and so now you have birth defects in towns like Ramadi and Fallujah that are 500 percent what they were 10 years ago. We've absolutely devastated that country, the United States and the West. After 30 years of warfare supporting both sides in the eight-year war with Iran and Iraq, the Gulf War, the sanctions throughout the 90s that Madeleine Albright and Bill Clinton said were worth it. 500,000 dead, women and children, Madeleine Albright on news, 10 o'clock news. Yeah, it's worth it, absolutely. What was happening over there? Uh, we were killing people. I mean, we were killing innocent people. Uh, people were being taken captive. If they looked like a quote-unquote insurgent, uh, you did what you wanted to do with them. It was a free-for-all. There was no media there. There's no one to look after you. And the Marines took it upon themselves to shoot at, beat, rob, rape, kill, whoever they wanted to. And that's being proposed on the news as like a few bad apples. This is a very isolated incident. This, to me, is Western culture par excellence. This is exactly what this culture is built upon. And anyone, I think, who's telling anyone differently is absolutely insane because we've robbed, beaten, raped, and tortured people from Vietnam to Southeast Asia, to South America, to Africa, to the slaves that we brought over to the United States, and of course the indigenous people that we've genocidally murdered and displaced. We operate 900 to 1,000 military bases worldwide and have overthrown democratically elected governments from Libya to Iran to Chile, and right now as we speak, drones are killing civilians from Pakistan to Somalia all in the name of American empire and all with American tax dollars. <laughs>